All right, so I'm going to give a review of the Ohuhu stainless steel stove. This is a stove for camping or backpacking. You see that it comes in this little mesh bag. And, uh, before I put it together, I wanted to show you something nifty here. This is a GSI cook set that I also happen to own. Different manufacturer, different brand than the stove. So even though the stove and the cook pot are from different manufacturers, it just so happens that that stove fits right inside that cook pot, which could come in handy. Okay, so here are all the parts of the stove unpacked, and we're going to look at each piece individual. This is the airflow base. This is what they're calling the burning chamber. This is the burning base. They call this piece the triangle rack. And this is the solid alcohol tray that you use if you're using solid alcohol as a fuel instead of wood. And again, there's all the pieces all laid out there. This is the instruction manual that came with the stove. And we are looking at the instructions for assembling the stove. So we're going to concentrate on the steps for cooking with firewood section. The first one says, put the airflow base on the ground with burning chamber on. Number two, put the burning base in the middle. Number three, fill, fill with dry firewood. Do not higher than the top airflow hole in case of black smoke. Number four, put the triangle rack on top. And number five, fire the wood and it is ready for cooking. So maybe a little something lost in translation, but I think I understand what they mean. Another little slightly humorous uh, mistranslation, I think it says potable stainless steel stove. I think it meant to say portable stainless steel stove. All right, so here we go, putting the thing together. Okay, pretty easy, right? Let's go gather some firewood. Okay, so I've gathered some firewood and uh, broken it into small pieces that I think will be about the right size. Here's my hand for scale next to the wood. Okay, so I've filled up the chamber with the wood and in the interest of full disclosure, I did cheat a little bit, wadded up a little newspaper and put it down in the middle. Um, I'm thinking you probably want to use about as much fuel as you can while still having some airspace around there. So that's what I tried to do. I tried to kind of make a pyramid out of the wood at first, but that didn't work out so well. So I ended up just kind of throwing it all in there. And now I'm going to light it and we'll see what happens. So I just lit that newspaper at the bottom. And it's just starting to burn now. All right, so I'm a couple minutes into the process here, and I uh, see I'm getting some good flame now. Less smoke, still a little bit of smoke. And I've been kind of gradually feeding more fuel into the, uh, the chamber there. Okay, so we're making some great progress here with the fire. You can see no flame, no smoke, but it is hot, just coals. So, this is the cook pot that I showed you earlier, and I've measured out a liter of water and put it in there. And we're going to time and see how long it takes to make that water boil. So here is the pot on the stove, and we are going to start the timer right now. Well, I was encouraged early on, but we're about 15 minutes into it now, and the water's not anywhere near close to boiling. And stick my finger right in there. It's, it's warm. It's like bathtub warm. But it's still got a long ways to, to boil. I've been adding fuel. I look in there and I can see the fuel's burned down, so I've been adding more twigs as time goes by. It almost seems like there's just a not enough fuel to generate enough heat to boil that water. But uh, I'm going to keep at it and let you know. All right, so we're almost 30 minutes into this. And I'm starting to get a little discouraged. If I was hungry, you know, this would not be a good thing. The water, almost too hot to put your finger in now. Um, 
If you wanted a like a warm cup of coffee, a warm cup of tea, it'd probably be fine. If you're trying to cook some freeze-dried freeze food, I don't think it would work. But we'll keep going and see if we can get that water to boil. Okay, well it's been about an hour now. And it has slowly gotten hotter. I can barely stick my finger in there now. But uh, boy, an hour is a long time to wait for water to boil. And it's not boiling yet. Okay, so we've been going well over an hour now and we have not reached the boiling point. In fact, if you look down at the thermometer, we're at about uh, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere around 60 degrees centigrade. So not even really close to boiling. So I think if the question is, uh, is this stove a viable alternative to a liquid fuel stove, for backpacking or camping, I think the answer is gonna be no. I'll continue to experiment with this, maybe try some different fuels and different conditions and uh, update you and let you know. But for now, I've given up on boiling the water and I think I'll just have a nice warm cup of tea. Not exactly a hot cup of tea, but at least a warm cup of tea. Cheers.